Today, we talk about colors. Now, the topic of colors is overwhelming, and the reason why is because it either A, offends somebody who thought they were like really into colors, or B, just overwhelms them because they're not really into colors. They've probably been looking at black and white their entire life, and that's just what they have been doing. Like, they're really attracted to black and white, and I, I understand that. You guys have to look at it in a different way. I would say to pick colors that actually attract people, you know, attract people mind frames. Now, black and white might work out for somebody who's just minimalistic. Let's just keep it real. Sketchy Tank does a lot of that. He makes a whole lot of t-shirts that are just in black and white. And it looks pretty good because his people actually gravitate for that. You know, skateboarders will just go for black and white sometimes. But there's other skateboarders out there who want something a little bit more exciting. Something just a little bit more about them, you know? Is there a reason why women like pink more than like red? Is there a reason why baby boys would go for like blue versus like yellow? It's what they're attracted to. And you guys should probably get into that. Now I have a book for this. This book here, this book here will help you out. And yes, I do understand that book is for home decorations and stuff like that, but it gives you that characteristic that you're looking for like if you're trying to paint your room like let's just say white and then you know you want to put down some like carpet then now you know what to do you don't have to get white paint you can get like stone then you can mix that with a nice brown and you can just kind of flip through the pages of these books and find something that you actually would like to put on a t-shirt now i am planning to do a what's on my cell phone video so if you guys want that let me know in the comment section below but the one thing that i do have on here is adobe capture and what adobe capture does is it allows me to look around and find different color combinations with Within the world, within real time world, or when I take a picture of it, use that color scheme to bring it into like Photoshop Illustrator and put out a design that actually works out for me. There's a lot of times where I'm just walking around and I'm like, hey, what's that color combination? I just don't, it's something about that color combination that works out, or it's something about this color right here outside that is just so natural and I want to use. So I use Adobe Capture just for that. I take a picture of it, upload it up on Instagram, which you guys need to follow me on because I just dropped the color combination challenge and I want you guys to start doing that. Like you can check the challenge, you know, make a t-shirt out of that, send it to me and I'll feature you guys in my videos. But Adobe Capture is pretty simple for that and you guys will love that for just that reason. If you guys are having problems with coming up with color combinations, then this will help you out. And I'm actually gonna work on these challenges today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the color combination from my Instagram page and I'm gonna go ahead and create eight, an actual design that kind of follows just those color guys i'm not going to use too much different color variations or anything like that but this should be a good one for you and i hope you guys learn something from it now the color combination that i picked is going to be a little bit more on the laid back side but it's going to have like high energy in the back it's going to make people who like that actual color combination who like this actual design engage with it all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get the illustrator and we're gonna go from there with that I want this to pop up more like a flat design kind of color scheme, something that you guys would see nowadays. I don't want to use none of these other earth tones or any stuff like that. I want to use this one that I had specifically called Panda. So I'm going to put the bright colors and stuff in the background and I'm going to use the darker colors to fill in. All right. But before I do anything, there's one thing I know I said to you guys that I want to just keep consistent. I don't like using absolute black. All right. <laughs> so, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the wand tool, the magic wand tool. And we're just going to use the eyedropper tool to pick this blue. And this is what we're going to get. Like I said, I want to put all the bright colors in the background. So we're just going to use this one. And I'm thinking maybe this one down here. We're just going to use these two and make this pink. And we're going to take this one as well. And we're going to make this one the brighter pink. So good. This is like halfway done now. So I'm just going to zoom in. And immediately I want to fix up this hat. So I'm just going to take this color hat. And I'm going to put this on maybe this brown. Maybe this brown here. And that looks pretty good there. And let's scale in real quick. And I'm going to take a square, the rectangle tool, and just kind of fix out this brown because we don't want this brown to be the same brown. Now here's something tricky that's not really in here. I want all of these shadows to be like a gray. Now the gray is not in the color scheme, but we can actually put that in there. That should be all right. So I'll just do something a little bit like this. And just one more thing. What? I want to go through and I want to edit out these dreads and just to use this brown right what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the brown in the dreads but then I'm gonna use like this regular brown here as the tips and that's kind of what like kids do so this is kind of like a millennial design I'll just do something a little bit like that another thing to be said about this design the thing that we have to talk about is the actual shirt color all right now 
I like to put things on white, okay? And they're always gonna work out. We can always put things on white. But what other color combinations can we use, okay? We can't just always use black, all right? So we have to figure out a color that's gonna work out. Now, what I like to do is go to Adobe Coolers, which is another Adobe product, but it's kind of free to use. Just go to Adobe Coolers, type in one of these colors from the color combination, and you can get like the analogous or a compound or a shade. And just kind of figure out what color is gonna work with that color, and then see if it works with the other colors along with the design. And then as one final tweak, I just wanna go in with the white brush and just kind of brush in some highlights. And with that being said, you guys, that's the end. So I hope you guys learned a lot about how to use color combinations in your designs. Next time I'm gonna talk about colors being used in advertisement and the ways to increase advertisement revenue that way because there are colors that actually help people in business. And colors actually do motivate things like buying and selling, giving and donating, eating and sleeping and just being peaceful, all kinds of things. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this one, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because I do this all the time. And bell me so I know it's real. But with that being said, you guys have to get up out of here. So stay amazing, stay creative, above all else, stay awesome. Japan!